Imagine the darkest corners of the human mind, where acts of harm towards others are not just contemplated but acted upon without any reasonable cause. This unsettling realm is the playground of dark psychology, a field that postulates the existence of individuals who commit heinous acts, not for power, money, sex, or any other known purpose, but purely for the sake of doing so. This is a place where the ends never justify the means, where violation and injury are committed without a goal. Dark psychology assumes that each one of us harbors the potential for such predatory behaviors. These tendencies have access to our thoughts, feelings, and perceptions. Yes, at one time or another, each one of us has entertained thoughts of behaving brutally, of inflicting severe harm without mercy. It is a startling realization, given our self-perception as a benevolent species. However, the majority of us never act upon these thoughts. They remain fleeting shadows in our minds, quickly shunned and forgotten. Yet, dark psychology suggests that there are those among us who not only entertain these thoughts, but act upon them impulsively or premeditatively. The stark difference lies in the action, the transition from thought to reality. The study of dark psychology suggests that such predatory behavior is purposeful, driven by rational, goal-oriented motivation. Attempts to define this dark realm have been made by religion, philosophy, psychology, and other doctrines. While most human behavior related to evil actions is purposive and goal-oriented, dark psychology postulates a murky area where the lines of purpose and motivation blur. This continuum of dark psychology victimization ranges from mere thoughts to extreme psychopathic deviance, devoid of any apparent rationality or purpose. This concept, the dark continuum, aids in understanding the philosophy of dark psychology. Dark psychology tackles the part of the human psyche that allows, and may even impel, predatory behavior. Notable characteristics of this behavioral tendency include its lack of obvious rational motivation, its universality, and its unpredictability. Dark psychology considers this universal human condition to be different or an extension of evolution. Remember we evolved from animals and currently stand as the pinnacle of all animal life. Our advanced frontal lobe has propelled us to this apex position. However, being apex creatures does not entirely divorce us from our animal instincts and our predatory nature. The quote by Alfred Adler rings true. The greater the feeling of inferiority that has been experienced, the more powerful is the urge to conquest, and the more violent the emotional agitation. To summarize, dark psychology explores the darkest potential within us. It's a study of those who act out these dark thoughts, causing harm without apparent reason or purpose. It postulates a continuum of victimization, from mere thoughts to extreme psychopathic deviance. It reminds us that despite our evolved status, we may not be entirely free from our primal predatory instincts. Dark psychology indeed, is a journey into the human mind's darkest corners.